The exhibition is titled Delirious, Art at the Limits of Reason, 1950 to 1980, including 100 works of art by 62 different artists. About 30% of the works are in the Met's collection. Several of them have never before been seen, and these are artists who would not normally share space together in a gallery. Instead, it surveys a vast and very disparate group of artists grappling with a similar set of concerns, realizing them in very different ways, the premise of the exhibition is that delirious times demand delirious art. Delirium is a word that I apply to works of art that are alternately absurd or hilarious or disorienting, in a word, irrational. I wanted to focus on the period defined by the fallout of the Second World War, but I also wanted to capture much of the social and political unrest of the 1960s and 1970s. The exhibition is divided into four sections, vertigo, excess, nonsense, and twisted, and each section is meant to demonstrate a different engagement with the idea of irrationality. And the delirium certainly accelerates as viewers move through the galleries. Among the works of art is a series of 13 photographs by the Cuban-American artist Ana Mendieta, in which she took a pane of glass and pressed it hard against her face. Another is Yayu Kusama's ladder. Kusama took an ordinary ladder and then covered it with women's high heel shoes and also these appendages, and they proliferate and eventually consume the ladder. I think the experience of seeing the exhibition will be not only cerebral or intellectual, but also deeply visceral. And I think this exhibition provides a window not only onto the past, but also onto the present.